as y'all can see, man, I'm bundled up. I'm really bundled up. It's, uh, well, you guys saw it kind of from the last video. That's uh, kind of snowstorm that hit Chicago, hitting down in Tennessee while I was home, Tom. And uh, I had to spend the weekend with my family in a hotel, sick as a dog. <clears throat> Uh, it wasn't a fun weekend whatsoever. I know I never got to really end the last video where I was uh, trying to unload a third attempt loading um, over in uh, Illinois there. I guess what happened was on the third attempt, something happened with their garage door or whatever. So they had me deliver it to another facility who was kind enough to just unload it and store it for them so I could get that over and done with <clears throat> And uh, after that, I just started heading home. I had another trip, right? Oh, sorry, y'all. Just bear with me through the sickness. Um, I had another trip that I was supposed to be picking up in Indiana. I get there that night, and they were talking some mess about how I had only five uh, a five-digit pickup number, so I needed four digits. All right, cool. Call management. They spent they spent like two hours trying to find it. Finally, I get the six digits. I give them the six digits, and they're like, "Okay, now what's the pat the the number code or something that comes with that, or whatever crap they called it." So there were some letters next to it. I gave them the letters, right? It was like Papa, Papa November, Sam, Mike, something, whatever, whatever it was, right? Now all of a sudden, after two hours of dealing with them for getting this six number. Now they want to tell me that the S, the Sam in the passcode or number code or letter code or whatever isn't right. <clears throat> How that's supposed to also be a number. Now at that point, after spending two hours just looking for that sixth number, my company was just like, all right, these, this company's playing games. We're not even going to deal with them. So that uh, the next morning I headed home and then had to deal with everything that came with Staying in a hotel with my family and a crying baby while also being sick. Oh, God, I praise my wife for doing the work she does. Um, my poor wife got sick because of me. And right now it's just, thank God, it seems like it's just a little bit of sniffles. Hopefully it stays just that way. Because uh, I know right now she's having a tough time with our baby girl. And I don't want her to have to be going through what I'm going through when it comes to the sickness while dealing with our baby girl. But either way, um, I had to stay at home an extra day just to figure some things out. Now I'm heading over to Logan Aluminum. Uh, I think I've been there before. I think that uh, a couple of videos ago at Kentucky to Ohio, at Finley, right about where I saw that uh, big artwork turbine. <clears throat> That's where I'm heading to now. And uh, out of fact, you guys actually seen this the same similar delivery before. Because the place I delivered to was the one where the, the wind turbine was, like, right next to the facility. That's the same delivery I'm going to now. Hopefully, they don't give me no problems this time because I got my vape blood whip. I'm still not in the mood. Hopefully, all goes well. I'm going to still try my best to try and get, like, a recording for you guys of, like, the loading. I might not be able to I'll ask. I might not be able to get, like, like their recording policy probably extends to the uh, the warehouse itself. Usually, a lot of these companies don't mind you recording on the outside, especially if I'm recording in my own Conestoga. Um, I don't think they'll mind, but I'll uh, I'll see if I can ask. But I just want to let you guys know what's going on. So far, I know I never really, like I said, got to finish or update you guys on the last couple of videos about what's going on. It's just. It's just been crazy all around from the housing complex. Thank God. I forgot to mention that. Thank God. It seems like uh, Sunday, Sunday night, Sunday or Monday. I can't remember. One or two. They finally got the situation fixed. It seems like our heat's running. Our electricity's running. The wife, mother, the baby, they're all able to get showers and baths. So everything's looking good so far. But, uh, but you know, we still going, me and them, them me and them gonna still have to have that conversation about like compensation for 
you know, everything else, our food and all that. But that's a that's another matter. But uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna keep you guys, you know, a little updated on what's going on. I'm gonna try my best through the sickness. I know I sound like complete and utter crap, <laughs> and I probably look like complete and utter crap. So uh, we'll see how this goes. In uh, the winter time, is uh, honestly with being sick in the winter freezing weather. It's like 10 degrees, 14 degrees or so outside. I'm sure up in the north it's probably worse. So, you know, like, bear with me, y'all, because I'm going to probably be, like, a lot slower than I normally am just because I don't have, like, I have winter clothing, but, you know, like, I'm just, a lot of the stuff I need I don't have with me. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit slower than I normally am. So I, I hope y'all can just bear with me and enjoy. But, yeah, I'll catch y'all when I get there. Oh. Uh, made it here. Now I gotta put some of these straps on. Let me uh set that up first. Y'all know I'm going to end up needing that. Can I make my life easier? How much of these are rated at? Five thousand pounds. Let me go ahead. Let me check this load. This is gross weight. Fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty. All right, cool. I think I'm about to be smart. Cause it's cold as shit right now. I already got those strapped down. I could probably use 2006. Wait, what did that say it was rated at again? This is 6,500. And these said they were rated at. Okay, so 5,000. That's already 10,000 plus the 6,000. Well, that's what I'm about to do. Way too goddamn cold. So. <clears throat> about to use these. <sighs> Save me the trouble of having to constantly go outside. Let me put this on the other side. That's what I want it. Actually, no, because I have to unstrap on this side. It'll make, it just makes more sense. Two, four, six. Two more. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Making my life easier. 
Uh, yeah, it's cold, but it's not that cold. So I'm gonna take this. Uh, Fall for just a moment. Okay. That way you guys can hear me a little bit more and I can breathe. Okay. So now we just need two more of these uh ratchet straps. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve. I don't know why I don't ever do this the smart way. No. Now six more. Uh, hey, the camera doesn't track me that well. I'm definitely about to lose me now. <sighs> Hello again. I have one back there, so I ain't need it. Let me show you what I'm about to do. Put y'all on this uh, real quick. So y'all kind of see what's going on, right? All right, there we go. So now I got y'all back on track. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be smart because it's so cold out there. Please. Here. One and a half, so I'll put that there. <sighs> so middle, so two, one, two. two. That pulled out. We didn't want it to pull out.
right. Now that we got that side covered, I'm gonna bring you guys over to the other side. Some sort of kind of see what's going on. Okay. So perfect. Now that we got it on the other side, start matching things up. That one's One more. I know you guys can't see it from over there, but I'm gonna show you as I start to come up uh, what I'm doing. I'm just upset with myself because all this time I've been thinking harder and not smarter. That really takes some out energy out your back. Let me get the felt pads too, because I want to make this as easy on me as can be. All right. Two, four. I know this all looked like a mess, but it's about to make so much sense in a minute. I want to see you guys. Anywho, camera's acting up. So as you guys see, I already got one coil completely strapped down. And uh, now we'll do the rest of them. Uh, it's kind of weird because some of these say different numbers like this one here is the working loan limit 5400 other ones say 5000 it's, <laughs> it's strange as hell but uh it's like this one here says 5000 that one says 5000 but anywho I don't want this stuff to get in the mud. It ain't gonna be fun for me. So. All right, so I'm gonna get these strapped down. I'm gonna show you guys what I what exactly I'm doing, and then once I do, you'll understand it a whole heck of a lot better. We have such limited space in here to maneuver around, you know. I can fix this side and that side, but let me get these all strapped. I feel like y'all watching. <coughs> y'all starting to get the hint of what I'm doing, right? Like, at least I hope y'all are. Sorry, I gotta take a look at my behind. I knew that fell off that side, just had to, because why not, right? Just leave just enough slack to get these uh, felt pads in. I'm gonna let that hold on to itself. And now, let's go around the other side and get those felt pads in. Yeah. 
I am missing two more, aren't I? Yes, I am. Two from the front. Four from the front, actually. Damn, front I wasn't paying no attention to, apparently. side and on this side before I tighten them down now I want to make sure they're really secure and last but not least so all my felt pads are good and now I can start tightening from the rear all the way to the front. Yeah, I fixed one of them because they kind of screwed up themselves, but... Now, trip strap, gotta know how that go. Last but not least. I'm gonna do that over here on this side, since it's less to be interrupted. tilt y'all but let me show y'all what i did so i put those straps as you see that's going down and i decided to be smart and do these chains because it's so cold they work just about the same like no joke but anywho yeah so like i was saying uh have problematic issues with my camera but uh but yeah, so that's what I did, right? Uh, again, chains, middle, strap down, and uh, the rest of it's like that. Just made it so much easier on myself. That's how it looks on the other side. So much easier. Alrighty. Now to send those pictures and get going.
pretty sure West Express over here is about to get yelled at. Yeah, I'm almost 100% sure Western Express is about to get yelled at because they didn't seem to even realize he came in. So, uh, <laughs> well, he'll learn. We all learn. Let me, uh, I'm going to pull into this lot over here and do paperwork real quick. Because uh, do paperwork and then send the information to my boss before I leave on out of here. These are trucks that are waiting. I don't know if you guys saw just how many, but these are trucks in here that are waiting to either get loaded or get unloaded. And uh, you got some of them who are who are probably just resting here overnight or like are out of hours, just resting here to their hours reset, whatever the case may be. But uh, yeah, as you see, these flatbeds are waiting to get loaded. It's really backed up today. I don't know if it's because of the storm and everything's pushed back, but it really is backed up today. Uh, get me the hell on out of here. Backed up. We had two of our louder guys here just now. I ain't really say much to them because I'm trying to get out here, get on my way, but uh yeah, two of our louder guys here. This. Okay, I thought that was another one of our louder guys, but it's not. I've been told I need to chap up my lips a little bit more, keep them moisturized, because apparently I don't. <clears throat> Enough for some people. I ain't saying no names, but they they gonna know. They gonna know who. Who they are. Now I gotta be gentle going up this uh going up the exit because their road is all dirt. Oh look another loud and their road's all dirt and I'm not trying to get a bunch of dirt and muck all over my uh reverse camera or my rear view camera. I've done that before and then had to stop and clean it. But uh so yeah, that that all went well, as you guys saw. You know, just strapped it down how I strapped it down, made my life so much easier. Um, and I don't know why I never thought about that beforehand. Uh, now that it's getting cold, it's something I'm gonna be considering. Because again, normally they like these facilities, they they want you to at least put like one strap down. Alcoa doesn't care if you put one strap down before you leave the the warehouse when it comes to the stand ups. But other places prefer to see you put down like at least one strap before you start driving out of the warehouse. So that's what I did, put up one strap, and that works very fine because I could be able to do that in the warmth. The rest of the straps, I got smart about it. You know, I, I didn't want to freeze my butt off. I'm already sick. You know, I thought I was getting over it, but I feel like this cold air is going to make it worse. And now I'm just, uh, now I'm just on my way to my delivery. So I'm hoping the rest of that goes well. Like I said, I am unhappy about the fact that it is that place who I went before. But hopefully dude's in a better mood. You know, like I said, I got my vape, so I could, you know, a little bit more appropriately deal with people and their attitudes. But uh, I hope that's not really the case. Because even though I can deal with it, I don't want to deal with it. Um, I know I need to get fuel soon. <clears throat> it is a six and a half six and a half hour drive to get to the delivery but it's looking like the delivery is not set until 11 uh 11 central time tomorrow 11 a.m so i'm not gonna rush it i'm gonna get somewhere 
uh, maybe drive a little three hours or so, park up for the night, and uh, take me a good rest, and then drive the rest of two to three hours in the morning. Um, so that way I'm set, and I have a proper set schedule again for the week. So, um, but anyways, as far as today's concern, uh, I think that this might be it. <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Like I said, everything so far has been resolved. You know, I got to go home and enjoy our brand new couch. Got to spend time with the baby girl. Um, had to wear a mask, but uh, I'm pretty much quarantined her from the quarantine uh, quarantine from my baby girl for the most part. But I still got to see her. I got to see my wife. Got to spend time with the family, and you know. That was good, and God willing, I get many more days of joy like that. Um, but like I said, yeah, there's not a whole lot more I got today to say. If I think about anything, maybe I'll make a separate little video. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and a uh, shout out to the wife, my beautiful and amazing wife, who takes care of the house, takes care of me, takes care of our daughter. She's uh, she's an amazing woman. Hopefully someday she comes on uh, comes on the channel so some of you guys can meet her. I love her and uh, thank you to my or shout out to my daughter for being one of the main reasons why me and her mother have to do this. You know, right? Like if it wasn't for my daughter being born, I wouldn't be out here trucking so hard. I'd, I'd choose any other job, honestly. But I want to build a great life for my wife and my daughter. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. And then again, shout out to my mother for helping as much as she can. Um, you know, I know she got her own stuff going on and times are tough, but I appreciate her. So as always, love you guys. And again, thank you the rest of y'all for watching.